Numbers can be very large or very small. There is a notation called exponential notation that allows such numbers to be written in a compact form. The TI-30XA allows you to enter numbers in exponential format. Numbers in exponential form start with a mantissa, which is a non-zero digit followed by a decimal point and then more digits. The mantissa is multiplied by 10 to an integer power called the exponent. To enter a number in exponential format, you will use the key with EE printed on it. This stands for engineering exponent, but I think of it as meaning times 10 to the. You begin by entering the mantissa, press the EE button and think times 10 to the, then you enter the exponent. Let's enter the number 1.23 times 10 to the third power. Press 1.23, then the EE button, and finally press the exponent, 3. The display shows 1.23 on the screen, and the exponent is displayed as a smaller number in the upper right of the screen. This calculator does not display the base of the exponent, which is 10, but some calculators do. The number is now entered and can be used in any operation, just like any other number. This calculator can display numbers in both exponential notation and floating point notation. Floating point notation is the form we are most used to seeing. It is simply the number written with the decimal point in the appropriate location. In our example, 1.23 times 10 to the third would be written 1, 2, 3, 0, point in floating point notation. The TI-30XA is in floating point notation when it is turned on, and all numbers entered will be displayed in this notation. If you entered 1.23 times 10 to the third, like we just did, and press the equals button, the calculator will convert this to floating point notation. To tell the calculator to display all numbers in a particular form of exponential notation called scientific notation, press second and the five button, which has SCI printed above it. In our example, with 1, 2, 3, 0 point displayed on the screen, press 2nd and 5. The display of all numbers will now be in exponential form, and our screen should read 1.23 with exponent 03, which reads as 1.23 times 10 to the third power. To tell the calculator to display all numbers in floating point notation again, press 2nd and the 4 button, which has FLO printed above it. If you do this after the previous step, the number will be converted to floating point, and 1, 2, 3, 0 point should be displayed. You can also turn the calculator off and back on to go back to floating point mode. As a final example, let's multiply two numbers in exponential format. The problem we want to solve is the number negative 1 times 10 to the 2 times the number 4 times 10 to the negative 2. Recall that a negative exponent represents a fractional number. If the number itself is negative, like our first number is, you enter the sign change after entering the mantissa. We would enter 1, the sign change button, then EE, followed by the exponent 2. The display reads negative 1 exponent 2, which means negative 1 times 10 to the 2. Now we are ready to enter the binary operation multiply. Press the multiplication button. The calculator is waiting for us to enter the second number. Enter 4, EE, then the exponent, which is 2, followed by the sign change button. The display reads 4 times 10 to the negative 2. This is a binary operation, so we need to enter equals to get our result. If your calculator is still in exponential mode, the display should read negative 4 times 10 to the 0. If you are in floating point, it will simply read negative 4. Exponential mode makes using the TI-30XA a useful tool when you find yourself working with very large or very small numbers.